That's President Biden today after his meeting with the Pope. He's spending the weekend in Rome before heading to a big climate conference in Scotland. Even Politico admits the Biden administration is at a disadvantage, writing John Kerry is holding a weak hand. Speaking about Mr. Biden's climate envoy, China just announced they aren't going to do much in the way of helping as the world's biggest polluter, China, faces an energy crisis at home. John Moody wrote a book about China. Of course they knew, a fictional account of covid he was also my former boss at Fox News, Rome bureau chief for Time Magazine, and joins us now. Nice to see you. Uh, welcome back. Thank you. We'll start with your expertise from Rome. You really think the president and Pope talked for 90 minutes and abortion didn't come up once? I think that's what they want to say. Um, you know, the, the, the Pope, any Pope, but especially this Pope, wants to be um, positive in his messages. He doesn't want to criticize, especially leaders that agree with him on almost everything, as President Biden seems to do. The one area where they disagree, apparently, is you know Joe Biden believes that abortion ought to be legal and available. Uh, clearly, this pope has not departed from the Catholic Church's hard line about abortion. And therefore, they have agreed not just to disagree, but agreed not to bring it up. So I think they probably talked for 90 minutes. I think they exchanged pleasantries and gifts. But, um, you know, they, they have mastered, they've both mastered the art of, of speaking without saying anything. <laughs> what do you make of the, the pomp and circumstance of this visit with President Biden versus other presidential papal visits, either at the White House or at the Vatican, which is probably second only to Buckingham Palace and rolling out the red carpet? Yeah, well, the, the Vatican knows how to uh, how to do things uh, the right way. They, they they have a long history of diplomacy, about two thousand years, in fact. Um, I, I think this was about standard. Uh, there was the the um, surprising development last night when the Vatican announced that it would not permit live coverage of B Mr. Biden's arrival uh, to the Vatican. They did just do some some clips, obviously, as you're showing right there. But, um, you know, that was a snub. That, that was, an, a, that was an, a little attempt to tell the White House, you know, your press secretary insulted Catholics yesterday in a press conference, in a press briefing. Don't do it again. Hmm. You think about this from the White House perspective. Uh, they clearly left not getting, they left the United States not getting the win they wanted. Uh, Democrats didn't pass either of the two bills that Biden wanted in Congress. He heads over to Rome, as you pointed out, a little snub. You don't have the, the live coverage for hours and hours of pomp and circumstance on cable television because Vatican TV uh, didn't put it out live. Now he heads into the G20 and then to the climate conference. Uh, it's pretty difficult for the White House now to spin this as the president's in a powerful position. Yeah, right. I mean, look, Joe Biden looks like a guy that got out of Dodge just before the posse caught up with him. And, uh, you know, he, he is he is going into this uh, summit um, with a, a lot of talk. You know, America is back. Well, America is back what? America is back on its knees. America is back apologizing. It's very difficult to believe that he is in a command position now. He gave the pope a command coin, but uh, that's about the only command he has his hands on. Well, interestingly enough, you make that America's back apologizing. The first thing he said to Emmanuel Macron, the French president, was, do I need to apologize? That over the, the submarine kerfuffle. But let's now look forward to Monday. Uh, this is the global climate conference in uh, Glasgow, Scotland. The president was supposed to walk in with all of these things America was going to do, a bill that had been passed, trillion spending on climate. He doesn't. Uh, how much do you think the White House is going to be willing to give away to just try and get any kind of win? Or what, what would classify as a win for them? Joe Biden is going in with a lot of hat and very little cowboy behind him. Um, he, is, he is, first of all, going to make pledges that are going to further make it more difficult for Americans to live under the uh, uh, economic restrictions that this policy of his that he wants to try to have Congress pass uh, is going to impose on people. Electric rates are going up, gas rates are going up, gasoline at the at the pump is going up. 
And, you know, it's as though America is the only polluter in the world and he wants to apologize for it. China just said it's going to increase its import of coal because it has a, an energy crisis. Nobody talks about that. I don't see Greta Thunberg out there yapping about China. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, Chi the Chinese love to yap about everybody else. They hate when people yap about them. Uh, you're one of the few who do. It's why you have, we have you on. Good to see you, sir. As always, have a great weekend. We'll talk soon. Thanks, Leland. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.